and welcome to the Sleep is a Skill podcast. So excited to be here on location in Biohacking Congress. Uh, you know, just a little bit about Biohacking Congress right now. We are in Las Vegas. Uh, we're here with over 30 plus great speakers at Biohacking Congress and 30 plus health companies at the exhibition space. And we're really excited to learn from great biohackers, doctors, and scientists, as well as explore uh, their products, digital health devices, et cetera. So just a little uh, heads up of what's coming. It's a life-changing weekend. We recommend checking out the Biohacking Congress website that is at biohackingcongress.com and get your ticket to the next Biohacking Congress, which is in Boston on June 11th and 12th, 2022. All right, so let's get into it. I'm so grateful for you being here and oh, taking the time. You, Molly. <laughs> thank you, yeah. thank you. And I know we've already been able to kind of chat back and forth. I got to see your a fantastic talk. Uh, you were on our podcast. The algae is the hack that changes everything. <laughs> yes, yes, algae is the hack. I know, yes. I want to really delve into this more with you. And uh, we even had the panel on longevity and we spoke to some of the importance of some of the products that you're working um, with and have created and how that can really help in this quest for longevity. Now, on the podcast around sleep is a skill, how to optimize sleep, yes. we want to know, uh, one, just how you came to be in this role. <laughs> how did this happen? Yes. Um, and how can we really make this tie from that place to sleep? You got it. You got it. Yes, I'm an algae expert. <laughs> and uh, first of all, algae was the first life on earth, but um, and a lot of people sadly just think of it as pond scum. But as you're going to learn today, it's a nutritional rock star that will rock your world in every single way, including your sleep. And it's a safe and probably, I think, probably the most essential food. Yes, algae is a food. It is not a supplement. It grows in uh, everywhere, but we grow it in fresh water ponds. But how did I get here? Because algae is not something that most people think about, including me. I say I didn't choose algae. It chose me. I'm actually Canadian by birth. I've lived in Boston, Massachusetts for 33 years. <clears throat> and 13 years ago, my younger sister in Canada develop breast cancer. Now she's fine. Uh, she's cancer free, 12 years cancer free. But as she was preparing for her chemo, her oncologist recommended she change her diet to an alkaline diet. Now they didn't tell her what an alkaline diet was or why it was good for her. So she called me, her big sister who loves her. And I said, I have no idea either because I'm a business person. I have an MBA in international business, but I researched an alkaline diet. It turned out to be a plant-based diet because of the chlorophyll and the phytonutrients. And we'll get into some deeper discussions about the importance of that. I gave her some suggestions. She changed her diet. She went through chemo, completely healed. 13 years ago, this happened. Nobody was talking about plant-based nutrition. So I'm just a very passionate person. So I gave up my corporate career of 25 years, went back to school, studied nutrition, taught plant-based nutrition. And this is what led me to algae. Because as I was trying to teach people the, the importance of eating more vegetables, they said, hey, my mother has been trying to get me to eat more vegetables since you know I was a kid. So you're not telling me anything new. So but they told me it was too much work. Their he vegetables are heavy to carry home from the grocery store. They take a lot of room in your fridge. They're time consuming to cook, to clean, to eat. And there's endless arguments at the dinner table with <laughs> kids and husbands. Yes. So I realized I needed to find something that had the nutrition of vegetables, but was effortless. So I went mm. back to look at everything I found for my sister and, and nothing was working until I got to algae, which turned out to be the most nutrient dense alkaline food in the world. Um, it comes in little tiny tablets, which I regret I don't have any with me in, uh, to show you, mm. but um, they're about the size of a baby aspirin. And each one of these tablets has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables with zero carbs, one calorie, 60% protein and 40 vitamins and minerals. It is effortless nutrition. And when you have, and it contains all sorts of powerful nutrients like chlorophyll and superoxide dismutase and K2 and um, tryptophan, which helps with your sleep. Um, and so when you take this, you will, it will give you energy nourishment for your day and it will pull out toxins and build your immune system, help with your sleep, help with everything. It is a multi-billion dollar agricultural crop in Asia. They've been taking it there for 50 years. It's as big as the beef industry is here in America, but no one's ever explained it to people outside of Asia. No one's branded it properly. No one's made it um, accessible and safe. 
So that's what I started doing 12 years ago, and um, I am now considered the algae nutrition expert in America. They call me the algae gal, ah, um, I love and it. Uh, it is. I was on 200 podcasts last year, and mm. my mission is to help people be healthier, sleep better, have more energy, and do it all naturally and mm. easily and effortlessly with algae. So ah. that's how algae found me. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Well, uh, with that, so so many things that it can be beneficial for, and I'm so uh, I love the way that you've packaged this product and been able to explain it in uh, in a sense that people really get the impact that it can really make. And from that place, I'm curious, one of the things that you had focused on in your talk was about mitochondrial health, and we're often speaking about that in the realm of sleep optimization, because of course, uh, our mitochondria plays such a role in, in this process of such a um, taxing thing of going through sleep throughout right. the course of the night, which right. many of us aren't quite cognizant of how much that involves and how much energy that takes in. Uh, so from that place, I'm wondering if you can share a little bit more about the mitochondrial uh, side of this and the benefits there and how that can uh, aid in the sleeping sure. process. Sure. Well, uh, let me, um, and, and for anyone who's listening, if you're curious about the company, the website is energybits.com. I'm sorry, I don't have any product to show you, but um, before we dig into how the algae helps with the mitochondria sure. health, let me explain what mitochondria are and what um, Please, why, why, that would be great. why they are so important for you. So uh, you may have heard of uh, mitochondria they are tiny they're called organelles they're little tiny baby organs <laughs> that are inside each of your cell and just to show you how powerful and important um, mitochondria are they um, generate 90% of over 90% of the energy in your entire body they use up 90% of all of the oxygen that you breathe there are as many as 2 million of these little tiny my mitochondria in every cell of your brain there are um, even higher number in your retina, 5,000 per cell in your heart. The mitochondria are like the air controllers of your body. And so all of your health issues, good or bad, start at the mitochondria level. So you need to take your, keep your mitochondria healthy so they can generate energy for you and oversee all of the activities, including metabolic, all the metabolic processes, breathing, digestion, because think of it as an air controller. If the air controller at the airport isn't doing their job right, you have air collisions, okay? Well, when your mitochondria are damaged, it's the same as having an air, an air collision because your cells get damaged, the wrong communication occurs, uh, you don't have autophagy or, or metophagy, which is the uh, cellular uh, death of the mitochondria. So, so these teeny little organelles are inside each cell. And in these mitochondria is where your ATP is produced. Um, but the problem with ATP production is that it releases free radicals, and we all know that free radicals are damaging to your health and to any kind of, um, they cause oxidative stress. But the problem is the DNA for the mitochondria are right exactly where the ATP production is occurring. So the mitochondria DNA gets damaged so quickly and easily because they're exactly where this uh, all this heat, the energy mm. is. It's like standing right beside a big uh, bonfire or sitting right too close to a fireplace and sparks fly. So those sparks fly and damage the mitochondrial DNA and so they, there's, their, their lifespan is from 10 to 37 days, the mitochondrial DNA. Just to compare it with your regular nucleus DNA, your nucleus DNA your lifespan is a life is your lifetime but these little guys last 10 to 30 days so when they're damaged and they're dying that means you're going to have less energy that means you're going to have poor sleep you're going to have poor digestion you're going to have everything nothing works well it's they're realizing virtually all diseases especially alzheimer's heart disease are a mitochondrial disease so the reason why algae is so fantastic is that um, normally you would have antioxidants that would quench, that would you know, uh, neutralize all these free radicals. But the mitochondria is such a clever little species or organelle that it doesn't, has more than just one cell. It has a second membrane inside its cell. So it's sort of like having the, if you go into an ICU unit at a hospital, it's very controlled, very few people can get in there, only specialized doctors wearing specialized garbs. Well, your mitochondria is the same way. They have this inner membrane. And virtually no antioxidants can get into that inner membrane 
to put out the fire from all this ATP production. But there are a few that can, and one of them is chlorophyll. Algae has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world. Another one is superoxide dismutase. Spirulina algae, which we call energy bits, has the highest superoxide dismutase in the world. Another one is glutathione and another one is melatonin. But these are the four antioxidants that can penetrate the inner membrane to protect the DNA from being damaged. And that's what you want because when the DNA of the mitochondria are damaged, that's when you, um, it leads to miscommunications with other cells, it leads to damaged cells, it leads to deterioration of any activity in your body. So I'm so excited that Spirulina, which we call energy bits because it energizes your cells, it energizes your mitochondria, it energizes your brain, it energizes your activities, not with caffeine, chemicals, or sugar, it's just from nutrition. And mm -hmm. it has the highest concentration of protein in the world, all of the, it's a complete protein, 18 of the 20 aminos. And so energy, spirulina gives you energy both physically, mentally, and at your, at your mitochondria level, um, but it's also very nourishing, so it can replace a lot of your other supplements. And then chlorella algae, which we call recovery bits because it helps you recover your health, it has the highest concentration of chlorophyll, which is another one of those antioxidants that can get into the inner membrane of the mitochondria. And chlo chlorella algae, has the highest concentration of chlorophyll, 500 times more than arugula. Mm. It has 25 times more than liquid chlorophyll. Um, there is nothing in the world with more chlorophyll than chlorella, which is why it's called chlorella. So, um, and it has a hard cell wall that attaches the toxins, so it pulls out lead, mercury, radiation, alcohol, lactic acid, which can interfere with sleep as well. So the two of them are bookmarks. Most people take the spirulina in the morning and the afternoon, and they take the chlorella, which we'll talk about in a second, mm. before they go to bed to mm. facilitate sleep and to facilitate all the great activities that occur during sleep, like repair and um, cleaning out your brain of, of toxins and stuff. But um, on the mitochondria health level, they are the two that have the um, few free uh, antioxidants that can penetrate that that uh, sort of ICE unit yes. where the mitochondria are preserved. It's it's um, it's very clever. And one one other little thing that I'll tell you that's uh, is a recent research. It's not recent research. It's recent new to me. Mm, but sure. it's uh, cell plant biology that's existed for years. Um, your mitochondria actually evolved from the cyanobacteria. So basically. Uh, Four billion years ago, there uh, the first life on Earth was cyanobacteria, which is another term for spirulina, um, and it released oxygen into the Earth. And then bi these bigger cells started growing, but they couldn't uh, live in the oxygenated world. So what they did is they swallowed up the little original cyanobacteria and basically said, well, why don't you stay in our big cell? Uh, you generate ATP for us, and we'll protect you from the environment. And that little tiny cell, the cyanobacteria, became mitochondria. So when you take spirulina, which is effectively mitochondria, it's like meeting an old friend. It's like, hey, <laughs> we know what to do here. So um, it's stunning. Uh, it's called endosymbiosis. And um, again, it's all part of plant biology. It's all well documented in science. And it's fascinating to me that um, spirulina contains all of the nutrients that will protect your mitochondria. And in fact, it is basically the same thing as mitochondria. So it's wow. pretty wild stuff. That's really and interesting. That feels akin to like the endocannabinoid system and CBD right. seeming to kind of fit into place yeah. and have that um, old friend yeah. vibe. Yeah, and we know what to do here. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, and one of the things that you touched on that I thought was great is, um, so of course with sleep, we're often looking at chronobiology and which is really the science of time and how that affects your biology. And so one piece of that is chronopharmacology. So the timing of your drugs that you might be taking and yes. drugs can, common ones being caffeine and alcohol. Right. And I loved that one of the things that you touched on was that this can potentially be an energy um, uh, kind of upper, if you will. Yes. Um, and, and so on the spirulina uh, side of things right. and could possibly even replace or be uh, um, in conjunction with caffeine, which sometimes we can see that uh, be problematic for people's sleep. Sleeping, and, exactly. Yes, and then the alcohol is such a low-hanging yes. fruit, as we know, yes. that will wildly Let's impact sleep. Totally dig so into that. So if you could you got it. share more, that'd be so, great. Um, you know, and I don't want to beat up on coffee because I, I love the smell of it and, and uh, um, you know, lots of people drink uh, 
coffee with butter for ketogenic purposes. Sure, so there's sure. lots of really good reasons, and some people can handle coffee and some can. But the reality is, caffeine, too much caffeine can really interfere with your sleep. Sure. So um, when you um, are focused, when you need focus, um, you, you know, a lot of people rely on caffeine because it's been around for a long time. But you can replace that energy, that focus, with something completely natural, and that would be spirulina. Mm -hmm. And it will never affect your sleep because there is no caffeine, no sugar, and no chemicals. And when I say energy, it's, it's metabolic energy, which of course when the metabolic energy is high, then all of your activities are functioning well. So mm -hmm. it, you could take spirulina if you wanted before bed, it will keep you up, but most people do take the spirulina when they want focus and they want physical energy. We have truck drivers, we have surgeons, we have Olympic athletes, um, who uh, we have gamers mm -hmm. who, who use it for that focus. Sure. And if there's only That's one great. calorie, uh, so if you're sitting and you're focusing on you know either a card game or a game or you're driving um, it's and you're not physically active you're, you're not taking in a lot of calories either so it's one calorie zero carbs so if you're ketogenic or doing intermittent fasting it works with that but it gives you 40 vitamins and minerals coffee can't come close yes, to that yeah. it has the caffeine which gives you the energy but if you can get the energy from something natural like spirulina is why we call it energy bits and yeah. it doesn't have caffeine and it gives you all the nourishment that makes everything else work well, why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. So, uh, so there's the focus piece for anything that you're doing that takes away maybe the caffeine or the sugar that can stim, because you also don't want sugar before bed, because right. now that stimulates you and that's the last thing you want when you're going to bed. So you could take the spirulina any time of the day to get that lift mentally and physically, but not interfere with sleep. So that's number one. Then we have chlorella, which we call recovery bits because it helps you recover from anything. Um, and it pulls out lead, mercury, radiation, which can also uh, interfere, any kind of toxins interfere with sleep. Mm, but the absolutely. biggest one is alcohol. Yes. And I promise you this works every time. Now in terms of dosage, when you take chlorella, which is a wellness and detox algae, if you want just the wellness benefits, 10 of these little tiny tablets that you could swallow or chew would be sufficient. But for detox purposes, you really do need closer to 20 or 30 per sure. serving. Now the good thing about chlorella is it tastes pretty good. And we have it at the, at the show here with pistachio nuts, uh, salt, and vi salt and vinegar flavor, but you could also have huh. them with macadamians. You could have them with anything. And now, if you had a handful, like 20 or 30, mixed with some nuts, you're having a snack mm. that will still facilitate the detox capability because it, it, it has a hard cell wall. Spirulina has no cell wall. It's technically a bacteria. Chlorella is a, a part of the plant kingdom, and it has the hardest cell wall in the plant kingdom, which attaches to toxins of any kind. And when you imbibe any kind of alcohol, um, spirits, wine, beer, your body um, converts it into various toxins. So the chlorella identifies it as a toxin and pulls it out of your bloodstream before it even gets to your liver. Mm. So, um, but I tell people, if you want to have a buzz, be sure you take your chlorella after you have finished drinking because it will start pulling the alcohol out immediately. It's like a Roomba. It just like sucks out all the alcohol out of your bloodstream and you are sober in an hour and a half and you will never have a hangover. So I say, you know, Mother Nature, God bless her because this is all from Mother Nature. She had one heck of a sense of humor because she gives us <laughs> spirulina to give us energy to go to the party or do whatever it is we're wanting to do. And then she gives us chlorella, which pulls out all the toxins that may have gotten into our body from the party so that we can do it again the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I, well, one of the things I thought was so cool that you spoke to was this cultural difference in uh, the East and the West. And, and one of the things that I'd heard you um, touch on was that uh, in some of your research finding that in the East, this is a normal practice when indulging and maybe having some alcohol or otherwise right. or detoxing. Right. So whatever if you could share more about what you see in other cultures of how they're thinking yeah. of these things uh, well, for topics like that. Yeah, well, algae, as I mentioned, is a multi-billion, that's with a B, yeah. uh, agricultural crop. And, and, and in Japan, by the way, first of all, I'll say the Japanese are world-renowned for their best longevity, 
lowest cancer rates and great skin and hair and probably a whole bunch of other yes. things. And they take chlorella algae every single day. They do not take supplements over there. And mm -hmm. um, and it's so normal to them because it's grown everywhere. You know, so there they are, they're riding it on the bicycle to school. Oh, they ride by an algae farm because again, it's a crop. Or they're on, this, on their subway or train going to work. Oh, on the right side is an algae farm. Algae farms are everywhere there, just like we see corn farms or wheat farms. Right. Right. or sadly Dunkin' Donut trucks are driving around. <laughs> yes. so, so I tell people, algae isn't new, it's just new to you. And, mm. and you didn't know about CBD until yes. a few years ago, or you didn't know about chia or kiwa or, or matcha or even collagen. And, but they have it existed indigenously. Chia have been used in South America for two or 300 mm. years, maybe centuries, for you know, propelling people for battle or for the day or for whatever they're doing. Same with algae. Mm. Uh, it was actually used by the Egyptians. They used to wrap themselves in it for mm. longevity and skin benefits. So, so it's uh, a very normal food in Japan and in many places in Asia. It just, the quality has been poor here in America. It has been sold in America for 50 years, but no one, the quality was poor, the branding was poor. No one ever explained what it does and why it works. So mm. there's, uh, and the great thing, it's good and bad, there, the great thing is there's so much science about algae. So everything I'm telling you now is all based on scientific uh, evidence. Mm. There are almost 100,000 studies uh, from all around the world, Japan, America, um, India, documenting the, whether it helps prevent cancer, whether it helps prevent COVID, whether it stops, it pulls out toxins, it, it's cleansing, it's brain, it helps with your brain, it helps with your sleep. It's all scientifically um, based. The downside is there's so much science, it's been, no one's ever had the time or the interest or the ability to dig through it all until really I did. And um, I, I actually don't have a science background, but I have a scientific mind. Mm. So I enjoy going through the science and then reinterpreting it so you know people can start to understand the, the key attributes and the benefits. And then if they want more, it's either on our website or they can contact us. And we sell the product through doctors and and functional medicine nationwide, and we make all that information available to, to anybody who asks for it. But it is around and has been around for a very long time, and it's time that in America, uh, and Canada, and anywhere outside of Asia, we all enjoy the same benefits. Why should they be the only ones having great sleep and, yes. and uh, having you know a great life and great skin? You know, it's your turn to step up and, and like enjoy that. the benefits as well. So oh, fantastic! And so to that point, if people are listening and then hearing all these benefits and how that might actually um, aid in the conversation around improving their sleep and other yes. things, um, what are some of the kind of cautionary um, things to be aware of? Why wouldn't someone just be able to go? to like Amazon and get any old yeah. spirulina yeah. chlorella. And I do want to um, circle back to about why chlorella is particularly good for sleep. Oh, it, thank you. Yes, it, please. It's, it's, um, and well, I, why don't I do that first sure. and then we'll yes. explain what to look for when you are selecting your okay. um, algae, although it's a little tough. But So chlorella, <laughs> first of all, maybe you, I'm not sure if people know this, but when you sleep, your body, that's when your body goes through a detox and repair cycle. Yes. So uh, whatever toxins you've uh, you know, inhaled or eaten, eaten um, this is when your body wants to get rid of them. That's why you have a, hopefully a bowel movement in the morning. Yes. <laughs> um, also, you may not know, but you, when you get into deep sleep, your brain shrinks and it has its own sort of lymphatic system that cleans things out. So when you have chlorella in your system uh, while you're sleeping, it will facilitate the removal of things like aluminum, which are notorious for contributing mm. to Alzheimer's. Um, chlorella in particular has the highest concentration of RNA and DNA in the world. Before they discovered this fact, sardines were known for having the highest, but it's actually chlorella algae. And why mm. this is important is because as you age, your RNA and D get damaged from various ex uh, toxins and activities. So this will facilitate the um, re um, growing back of your RNA and DNA. Uh, chlorella also has something called the chlor chl chlorella growth factor, which speeds up the growth of your cells. Mm -hmm. And of course, since that's going on while you're sleeping, it'll restore it even more. It has something called vitamin K2, which pulls out excess calcium 
from your soft tissue, like your blood vessels, your brain, you want to preserve that brain, mm -hmm. uh, your skin, yes. and moves it into your bones because uh, too much calcium calcifies and hardens. And so that's what hardening of the arteries are. It's the calcium. They think now that a lot of uh, Alzheimer's is the is calcification of your brain. So. Uh, this K2, you have a daily requirement of K2 in chlorella algae, so it, it will protect your brain and your soft tissue and uh, your skin. So, so while you're getting your beauty rest, yes, uh, chlorella is like the cleanup crew getting through there. And I like to tell people, you know, when you get up in the morning, you know, we all know to have a shower to get ready for the day. Well, taking chlorella before you go to bed. It's like giving your body a shower from the inside. Mm. So it's pulling out all the things that shouldn't be there and putting the, all the things like protein and amino acids and K2 and DNA in there that should be there. Um, the other cool thing about chlorella algae, it has the highest concentration of tryptophan in the world. Mm. Everybody seems to think Turkey has the highest tryptophan. <laughs> this has five times the amount of tryptophan as turkey. Now, tryptophan is the precursor to melatonin, which uh, facilitates deep sleep. So um, this will help you get into a deep sleep. It will not put you to sleep, I want to assure you. <laughs> I eat it all day long, even though we do encourage people to take it before night. You can mm -hmm. eat it any time of day, but definitely before nighttime. So it does facilitate a, a deeper sleep. And the other thing uh, is that chlorella, as I earlier mentioned, has the highest chlorophyll in the world. Chlorophyll facilitates uh, peristalsis, mm -hmm. which is bowel movements and so because you are taking it before you go to bed and it's scrub-a-dubbing its way through your body while you're sleeping and then uh, you should have a nice bowel movement in the morning and I know that's probably a topic that a lot of people are you know a little not so happy about talking but it is a reality of being healthy you want to yeah. get rid of the things that you don't need so so all of those things and many others including it restores all your electrolytes um, but the you know I don't want to understate the alcohol thing because you know we all yes. we're so glad COVID is pretty much over we're getting back to Together. We're celebrating life, uh, celebrating wins, uh, either at uh, whether you're, you know, at, uh, a casino or a triathlon. You're just celebrating everything, yes. and and you know sometimes a few cocktails are part of that that uh, celebration. Why should you? be denied the right to celebrate because you're worried about how you're going to feel the next day. Mm -hmm. This solves the problem. Celebrate to your heart's content and then take your chlorella, the recovery bits, take at least 30 um, to get rid of the toxins, have them with pistachios if you want or swallow them if not. And I promise you, you will be sober in an hour and a half. It will not, your alcohol will not interfere with your sleep because it's on the way out and you will wake up fresh as a daisy. Oh, I love that. Cause that is one of the biggest things that we'll see with clients because everyone's wearing the aura ring at least with the clients that we're working with um, and many of the listeners and people in our newsletter and what have you are sharing lots of data. And often that one piece of data is really impacted, the, so your sleep data is impacted by alcohol so yeah. greatly. Yeah. People are looking for ways yeah. to kind of get around that. Hacka is the timing, is the type, um, and to be able to have that in their back pocket is huge. So you recommend around 30 um, tablets. Of yes, that. and if you're a very large build and you had a lot of, to drink, yeah. uh, uh, you can't. I want to say you can't take too much of this stuff because it's just food. It's like having a very nutrient dense salad and not to scare anybody, but I, I've had a hundred chlorella tablets every day for the last 12 years mm. and I feel great. I sleep great. I do every, everything is just, um, and you know, I'm older than you probably think. I'm not sure if I wanted to share my age or not, but, um, uh, I couldn't live without this stuff, and I have a selfish reason for wanting people to take the spirulina and chlorella because I'm going to live till 120 for sure. Yes. Me and Dave Asprey, we're going to be like last man standing. <laughs> I want all my buddies to be living as long as I do because I don't want to be the only one out there. <laughs> um, but it's uh, it's it is amazing. It's there's zero toxins. We do third party lab tests, um, and I, we'll get now to sure, the, yeah. why our algae is better than other people and why you want to be careful about what you're taking mm. um, because it's not all the same. It's just like all beef is not the same. Mm. Um, uh, there's a large variation in the quality of algae. Uh, and of course, if you get the highest quality, then you need less of it, and it will do more for you and certainly affect your your sleep even even more. So, um, so uh, you want yes, me to, okay, please. That so, would be great. Yes. So a couple of things. Um, 
We grow our algae in Taiwan, which is world renowned for having the highest quality. Uh, then we import it here in the United States and we package it here. But uh, first of all, we grow it in triple filtered spring mountain water. And I don't think anyone, other people do grow it in fresh water, but I'm not sure if it's triple filtered. And so it's, uh, it's the cleanest water you can find. So, mm. and algae absorbs whatever is in the water. But the biggest thing that um, is come to, uh, you know, we, I'm so proud of, and we're probably one of the few companies that do this, is we do not use high heat to dry our algae. Mm. Almost everybody, other, other companies, whether they're spirulina or chlorella, whether you go to Amazon or Whole Foods, I can pretty much promise you they use high heat to get their product to market because they're lower priced and so they have to sell more to stay to make enough profit. So the problem is the high heat kills all the enzymes and your body needs enzymes to function and to circle back to one of the most important enzymes is this one called superoxide dismutase and spirulina has the highest concentration in the world. Um, it has um, 3,000 international units of superoxide dismutase per tablet and they did a study a few years ago and they gave people 104 units and we have 3,000. 104 mm -hmm. units took away their anxiety, took away their depression, took away their uh, increased their energy, increased their focus. So just imagine how much better it is mm. when you have that much more in the spirulina. Mm. So because we don't use high heat, our superoxide dismutase is alive. In fact, spirulina, our spirulina is a live food. But when you buy it from other companies, because they've used high heat and killed the enzymes, that's, it's like shooting blanks. May, might have been in there, but it's not doing anything. It's wow. like buying a pair of running shoes and just getting the box. No shoes inside. <laughs> <laughs> Got so, it. Good analogy. So, um, so I'm very proud that I did it because I just wanted to you know, have high quality product, but now yeah. I'm circling back and realizing, oh my God, that was the right decision to do sure. because it's just that much more effective. And same with the chlorella. We do not use high heat to dry the chlorella. Now the chlorella, which again we call recovery bits, which is the one that helps you with your sleep, yeah. um, there's an extra complication there. So most other companies, um, uh, well, f let me circle back. Remember I said chlorella has the hardest cell wall in the plant yes. kingdom? So that hard cell wall, the FDA has, re has, has you know, regulated that all chlorella sold in America, and there's a lot of it, must be cracked cell wall because your body could not absorb the nutrients otherwise because it's such a hard mm. cell wall. So number one, everything in America is cracked cell wall. Uh, chlorella. But the technique almost everybody uses is the original old technique, which is to tumble the chlorella with glass beads. Mm. Now, in the, so they physically shatter it. But the problem is the glass heats up and lead from the glass leaks into the chlorella. Oh, no. So so now you're taking chlorella, which is to, de to, to pull out toxins like right. lead, and yet you are introducing lead into your body. Yeah. It just didn't make sense to me. So when I started the company and I learned about that, I thought, well, that's not gonna work for me. Right. There's gotta be some other technique. And there was a brand new technique that was, had just been developed and that's what we use. Mm. And what we do is we pass the chlorella through a sound chamber. Oh. And it's vibrations that crack the chlorella. Huh. So there's no heat and no lead. And I chuckled the other day because someone said, oh, your chlorella has good vibrations. Yeah. <laughs> it's and like, sound yeah, healing. Very yes. <laughs> so, and I, and I actually am a Reiki master, and so I'm oh, all about vibration and energy, okay. and, and I'm so proud that uh, our our chlorella, which we call recovery bits, is uh, a, um, has good vibrations and it's very clean. So, so it will um, help you. It will facilitate sleep. It will facilitate um, repair and cleansing and do everything that and effortlessly. I might sure. add. Um, and some people use uh, char um, activated charcoal. I was going to ask you about that. Um, yes. And, and uh, you know, I don't want to offend anybody, but right. I don't recommend it. And here's sure, why. Please. Um, activated charcoal will pull out everything, all mm -hmm. minerals, including toxins, but all minerals. And you can run the risk of becoming dehydrated because you've lost all your electrolytes. Mm -hmm. It will pull out the magnesium, the potassium, um, and, and calcium. And those are very important minerals. You do not want those pulled out. You only want the bad stuff pulled out. So chlorella, it, um, it, it has its like it's got its own little CIA uh, <laughs> built into it, and it, it can identify the toxins 
and it leaves all the other minerals there. Not mm. only that, it's full of magnesium, potassium, and all of your electrolytes. So it's taking mm. away the bad stuff and putting in the good stuff. So um, you don't need activated charcoal, number one, when you're taking chlorella every day. And by the way, I would recommend, I recommend everybody take both spirulina and chlorella every day for the rest of your life. And when you do, mm. you will need fewer multivitamins. Spirulina, which is the energy bits, will replace a multivitamin. Fish oil, CoQ10, magnesium, calcium, D. It replaces, there's six right there. So that saves you time and money. And when you have, you know, everybody I know has anywhere from 10 to 20 bottles and they all run out of different times. And when you're traveling, it's complicated. So boom, get rid of it all. By the right. way, spirulina has so much protein, it's a snack. It's a yeah. meal replacement. It can, it's a sports fuel. You can get rid of all those. So <laughs> see how it's simplifying your life? Yes. And no processing, no heat, one ingredient. Uh, it's just, it's a mirror. It's, if anything is as close to a miracle food, that would be spirulina. And then when you take chlorella at night, it has so much chlorophyll, you never have to eat another vegetable again. This is great news for men, in particular, who ate, hate eating vegetables. <laughs> if you're a carnivore, it's right. perfect because it does not, either, neither one of them contain what are called the anti-nutrients. Because a lot of plants, like the nightshades, the tomatoes and the red peppers and the green peppers, have a very high concentration of what's called lectins and oxalates, mm. which can damage your stomach lining, cause punctures, and can lead to autoimmune. Now the reason why plants have those things is that they were, because they, over evolution when they were growing on soil, they had to protect themselves from bugs and predators. So they developed these things which taste terrible and are poisonous to the animals and the bugs. And they're poisonous obviously to, mm. to some humans too. But algae it doesn't grow on the soil. It came from the ocean never had to develop lectins and oxalates to protect itself. Mm. So so for uh, whether you're vegan or um, uh, paleo or keto or carnivore, this is the perfect food for you um, because it's it fits into every single lifestyle. It's great for diabetics. It's great for um, anyone who's got uh, any kind of blood sugar issue. Low, if you're looking for low fiber, low carb, um, I mean, it, I, you know, I, I just say my, my love for algae and algae love are, you know, I, I am almost inseparable from algae and, <laughs> and, and, you know, to that note, my poop is green because I take so much of it, but, but uh, it's, um, it's a game changer. So it will save you time because you won't have to cook so many vegetables. It will save you money because you won't mm. have to buy so many supplements. It travels well, never goes bad. Uh, we sell it in large bags on our website. Sure. Um, uh, we have a discount code yep. for your listeners. Yep. We'll and uh, we also have little travel packs that you can throw in your gym bag, you know, travel bag. Uh, we've done everything we can to make it easy and simple. Uh, and I call it intelligent food for two reasons. It knows what to do in your body and you have to be intelligent to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, on that note, um, since you speak to making it such a lifestyle and some of the, so much of the benefits, and you've been doing this for years, um, definitely want to hear how you are managing some of these elements, uh, certainly around sleep and how these products might show up in there. Uh, so we asked three questions to every guest about their kind of personal relationship to sleep. And the first one is, what does your nightly sleep routine look like right now? Right. Um, uh, and I'm sure that evolves in your quit the biohacker, so I'm sure yeah. you're testing all kinds of things, but yeah. what would we see right now? Yeah. Um, so I have a very busy day. Yes. Uh, so I really um, am um, very um, uh, cognizant of needing some wind down time before yes. bed. So about an hour before I go to bed, I um, either do some meditation or I have some um, uh, light, soft music. Um, although I have to say, I do have a brain tap uh, device and I'm gonna start using that again because I was experimenting it with uh, at the show and um, it's amazing. Yeah, I use um, it every so, day too. So either brain tap or doing any of your sort of meditative or just relaxing. So I turn down the lights, get off my devices, uh, so get rid of the blue light. Um, I, I wear glasses as you can see so I haven't yet been able to find a 
pair of blue light glasses that, that <laughs> sit on top. So, so just getting rid of the, the devices is, uh, is good. And um, I drink um, uh, an herbal tea to mm -hmm. um, uh, a lemon, a lemon balm actually is the type of tea, which is no caffeine and it's very soothing. Of course, I have at least, I actually have about 50 or 60, because I, you know, I love the product, uh, chlorella tablets. Um, so it's like my nighttime snack. Um, and I have that anywhere before, between an hour or even as recent as, you know, five minutes before I go to bed, before I brush my teeth. Um, so, so it's the low light, uh, soothing music, meditation, uh, herbal tea, chlorella algae. And then, um, uh, and then when I get to bed, I do have a grounding sheet, uh, mm -hmm. so I get the Earth's vibrations. I make sure I either have my window open. I, I, I'm, I'm Canadian, and I live in Boston, so it's pretty cold in the wintertime. Yeah. And even if it's freezing, I, I sleep with the window open. Cold air is yes. so refreshing. Uh, make sure I get fresh oxygen. I sleep with a sleep mask. Um, I don't have an aura ring, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go get one soon. Yay. Um, and. Um, uh, that, that's pretty much my routine um, in, in getting ready. <laughs> I love that. Fantastic. And then you answered, you kind of touched on some, but um, what might we see on your nightstand or even proverbial nightstand? And that could include if you're traveling, you know, apps or uh, like kind of the ambient um, yeah. energy that you might yeah. be kind of creating. Yeah. What might we see? Well, because I am traveling now. So, yes, um, sure. So uh, because I, you know, all these things I said I take, I take every single day. So um, I bring my own kettle with me now. Uh, really? Yes, and I even bring my own mug, although housekeeping always steals it and I'm always oh. chasing after them. I've learned to hide my, my, my mug, but um, <laughs> I, and, and a kettle is not big. It's just an electric kettle. So, you know, why wait for, you know, room service or why spend all that money in room service? Just go get yourself a small kettle and then you can make your coffee if you choose to, or I make my herbal tea and I have a, a different tea I have in the morning. So that's, that's number one. Huh. Um, You're the first person to say that. I yeah, like that. Yeah. I discovered this about five years ago and I, cause I kept, get so tired of waiting for room service and when they get there right. the, the hot water was cold and you know I'm, I'm very particular about my tea yes. so it's, a ritual. it's for twenty dollars and I even sometimes bring it with me to the trade show because you don't know whether so I have I have two yeah. suitcases and they each have a kettle in them so I bring <laughs> so, you know so these are the little yes. you know, hacks that sure, make your life like easy that. so that's number one I even bring my own tea bags I make my own sometimes so so that's number one number two I have a very small travel size Bose um, speaker mm. and so I have my own um, you know stations I listen to on my iPhone or if you have meditation yep. that you want to do and so so I can replicate the same music I listen to at home with right. nice mu sound vo volume the, it's like I think $99 it's very small you can just toss it in your travel bag or your suitcase so um, I take that with me all the time love I it. and you'll love this I have this sort of fake candle it's one of those little you know le electronic ones but yeah. it was actually made of wax and so it gives me some slight ambient light to sort sure, of soothe nice. my downtime. And um, I don't bring a yoga mat, but I you know try to do some stretching mm -hmm. before I go to bed. I obviously don't have a grounding mat, but I guess I could if I traveled. <laughs> um, and um, so I have my wind down with my music, my tea, my I always carry my chlorella with me sure. uh, in bags or packs or whatever. Um, sadly, most hotels don't have open windows. There's nothing I can do about that. But I right. turn the temperature down as low as I can yes, get. Yes, same. <laughs> um, and um, That's so that, great. that sort of I does love the trick. That. <laughs> well, in alignment with that, what would you say for yourself has made the biggest change to your sleep game or really been the biggest aha moment in managing your sleep? Well, um, uh, I know, and I, I'm not saying this to plug my own product, but the chlorella um, uh, well, I will share my age. So I'm 65, and so Yay. Uh, <laughs> I loved when you shared that on the panel yeah, yesterday. Yeah, that yeah. was like, fantastic. You know, what do I got to hide? You know, yeah. um, it, you know, and as you get older, things you know, unless you are hacking your health and learning about things, you know, your mitochondria decrease. Or, well, they for most people they do, and they and the operation decrease. Everything starts to your SOD decreases, but you can turn that. You can change that trajectory. And that algae has changed that tra trajectory for me completely. And, and again, the elimination thing is important. And one thing I didn't mention, because it's not part of my night routine, but it's part of my morning routine, I start every morning 
with a couple of large glasses of water with fresh squeezed lemon, mm. which helps detox your liver. And, and that starts your day and then I you know kick in with my algae and stuff. So what I do in the very morning, I, I truly think also affects my sleep. Um, 100%. And, and also, I haven't been as good as, it, as I used to be, but getting exercise is important, getting outside is important, yes. getting your retina attuned to the, you know, the sunlight. One of the speakers yes. was saying about um, how the Indians, I think it was actually uh, Dr. Porter from, mm. uh, from BrainTap, uh, that in India they, they get up before the sunrise. Uh, because that is when you, the most red light mm. is available, Twilight and that's time. when they do the me, the uh, the yoga and the, the meditation. It's not just the physical; it's for the red light. And yeah. I didn't know that there was red light before the sunrise. Yes, so yes, um, that stretching of the horizon yeah. changes that. That's yeah, great. so um, you know, just getting you know, there's a cute, there's a cute. Circadian, re um, how yes, circadian rhythm. Yes, circadian exactly. rhythm is yes. critical. Totally. Um, so if you can get yourself outside, I know when it's cold, it's harder to do that, and I experience that myself. But, but it, it will, you know, your body will respond better if you can uh, get yourself outside. So, um, so the algae uh, has made the biggest difference for me, and just and, and you know the other and because of that, because I noticed the difference, it made me more present. It made me want to do more. It made me observe what was sometimes because I'm not perfect. You know, I don't do this like I'm not perfect every single day. I, right. It's eighty twenty. Okay. Oh sure. So I do my best uh, when as often as I can, and sometimes I go off the rails and just have carbs. Yes, <laughs> uh, totally like, get yeah. it. Yes. But um, but then I notice how it's affected my digestion or my mood or or um, other things, and so just being cognizant, mm. helping anything that will bring you back to your present moment will help you have more good present moments. And when your present is good, so will your future be good. Oh, so, I love that. Yeah. Well, that's a great, uh, really fantastic way to kind of wrap that up uh, so nicely for people that are listening. And when they're listening, they are likely going to want to know how can they learn more about Energy Bits? What are the best ways to stay connected? Absolutely. So our website is energybits.com, E-N-E-R-G-Y, B for boy, I-T for Tom, S for Sam, energybits.com. And um, we have lots of science on there. We have, I've written about 500 papers, so if you have a subject matter that you're not finding on the website, you know, just email us at customer care and we'll find it for you. It doesn't matter whether it's brain health, pregnancy, you know, uh, gut health, it, we, we've got it. <laughs> um, we're very active on social. We have two handles. Uh, the main one is Energy Bits, which is no surprise. But we also have a, a spirulina that's called Beauty Bits because it has so much collagen, has more collagen than collagen powder and antioxidants, so it does build your skin and your hair. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have a stream for on Instagram for Beauty Bits, which is the other spirulina. And it's very girly and very flirty and very cute and fun. So uh, not quite as much science on that one is the energy bit sure. and we're on Facebook Twitter Instagram um, I said Instagram Pinterest it's all energy bits um, and if you're not ready to um, buy the full bag um, it's normally $125 but by the way I want to point out that NASA says one oh, gram yes. of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of fruits or vegetables one to a thousand it's so concentrated so using that calculation I did the math on our large bag of algae tablets and one bag of our algae tablets has the same nutrition as 551 pounds of vegetables. Wow. And so it puts it into context about how efficient nutrition it is. Um, and that's 551 pounds that you didn't have to carry home from the grocery store, clean, cook, or eat. So um, very efficient. So I put it into you know, context of what it would cost you. And we have a discount code to yes, save you 20%. Absolutely. But if you're not ready for a full bag, we do have a sample pack that you can buy. And we also sell on Amazon, just single pouches for you know $5. So mm. we're not here to push the product. If you want to experiment with it, just spend the $5. And you can't lose. Um, and if you have prime shipping, you get free shipping. Uh, but then Fantastic. come back to the website. Yes. Um, and and, uh, and we do a blog, a fabulous blog. I you know, write most of it um, with the help with my team. 
um, about different subject matters. And, to, and this March is biohacking <laughs> nice. is the topic. So come and check us out, read the blog, learn as much as you can. We put as many science references as possible. Um, but we're very, we're so excited to have people discover this. I, I think I was telling you earlier, we feel like an adoption agency because every time we sell a bag of algae tablets, it's like, go out there and do good things in the world. <laughs> so <laughs> That is amazing. Well, do good things in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you so much for taking the time thank to you, share your you. immense knowledge. Fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing. You, so you much too. energy. I love it. Uh, you really are the living element of yes, your brand. I am, I am, so I am proof, proof. that this stuff works. Yes. Uh, well, thank you. Appreciate thank you, it. And um, absolutely check out Energy Beat, Energy Beats, <laughs> EnergyBits.com. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Molly. <laughs>